All right, look what the trades we got this morning. We're four for four on retracement trade. Since midnight, we're four for four with a two, uh, stop two ticks above the swing high, and we're one for one, actually two for two on a momentum trade. Here's momentum trade here too. <coughs> How to arrow the fire. So we had two momentum trades and three retracement trades. Actually, I'm sorry, four retracement trades. One's a retracement trade up here too. And two momentum trades. Retracement trade there. This is actually a momentum trade. This is actually a retracement trade also. Yeah, I don't put those lines so you can see them better. All right, so look at the two trades. Look how we're four for four right now on retracement trading since midnight, and now we're two for two on momentum trades. Very simply, how do we do it? Retracement trades are really easy. I got a trend filter right in front of us. This is our trend filter. Our trend filter, I had educated you guys this morning that we are trending down. We want to take sells only since midnight. We want to take no buys. So how do we do it? We want to look for an opposite color candle. The beautiful thing about the trend chart, I have all these uh, filters built into this chart to tell you when the counter trend traders are coming in. So the first trade came up here after midnight. It came up when a green uh, candle formed because I have all the trend the trend fillers built into these candles. Once it formed, it told you to look for what? Look for a short right there at the next retracement. This morning at 7.45 this morning, we had a trade here. Green bar formed. Once a green bar formed, closed. We're looking for a retracement trade. That caught the swing high there too. Next green bar formed against the trend filter. Green bar, bar closed. It tells you the wrongly position traders are in. That next retracement worked out also with the pull-in. I'll show you in a second. Another green bar formed, catching the wrongly position counter trend traders. These are counter trend traders trying to buy the low. What do you want to do? We're smarter than that. We're more educated than that. We know to keep selling. Our trend filter is pointing down. Next retracement up. We got pulled into the market with market delta. I'll show you how. And then we have another trade. Then we had a momentum trade here also with the Fibonacci arrow. So right now, as of midnight, we are one, two, three, four for four since midnight, and it's nine o'clock in the morning. So the, for the past nine hours, this system has had four trade setups according to retracement trades because retracement trades are opposite color candle against a trend filter catching the rolling position traders. According to momentum trades, momentum trade is you don't get an opposite color candle sometimes. They are hard selling. That is when you are all red and you look for a retracement to that small MA and you get a Fibonacci arrow over here, which we got this morning, right there for the major sell. So how can we time the trade? If the trend filter turns to opposite color candle green, what do we do? Let me go over the two trades. There's only two trade setups we need to learn in this trading room. A retracement trade, catching the wrongly positioned counter trend traders, or a momentum trade on trend days. On chop days, I'll go over that in a second. But if it's trend days, we know that if we're below the small MA and we're to blow all three MAs, you know we're trending down. We're only shorting. So if that happens, what do we want to do? I want to look to the far right, uh, the next chart next to me with the SIM dots. The SIM dots are these red level dots and these blue level dots. If I'm in a downtrend and I get an opposite color, let's go to the first one, opposite color candle. I have these filters built in already. It tells me counter trend traders are coming in. As soon as that closes, where's my SIM dots over here? It gives me an area to look for two ticks with no SIM dots to look for a sell. I'm going to show you how to pull in in a second. One second. The next trade, I get a green candle close. It tells me counter trend traders are coming in against the trend filter. I want to look at my SIM dots, where they at. It gives me an area to look at. I want to be within a couple ticks of it or the best ones. It comes with a couple ticks, and it calls the high here. I'll show you in a second. The next green bar comes in, comes within two ticks of symmetry, symmetry here, so on. So the trend filter retracement trade is all based upon catching the counter trend traders once it closes an opposite color candle. Look to get in the market on the first retracement. The sim dots will help you. The market delta will pull you in, though. This is where the market delta is. So in our last three trade setups, we use market delta. How do we do it? Market delta... Uh, I had the small MA on market delta. So our last sell setup, we actually had one here too with Fibonacci arrows. We had a sell setup there too. 
These are our last three cell setups. Once you get a cell set up and you retrace within a couple ticks of symmetry dots after the counter trend traders come in, start watching our Fibonacci, our, I mean our market delta chart to pull you in. If it closes a partial candle close below, that is your entry. You want to enter at that level, that will be a high reward to risk trade. Your stop loss is two ticks above that swing high. So this is your qualified candle once it closes below the small MA. There is your two ticks above the swing high. Here's your partial candle close, two ticks above the swing high, partial candle close below, another trade, two ticks above the swing high, partial candle close right there, two ticks above the swing high. Now, you know you got a possible big trade if the number's over 200 on crude oil below here. So if we look at the number below, anything around 200, this is 222, sorry, this is 202 right here, 202. Major sell and bounce between the bid and the ask before you got pulled in. This is 335, huge sell and bounce at 8 o'clock this morning. That was a beautiful trade at 8 o'clock this morning, sell and bounce. My point is the best way to do it is put a hard between 13 to 15 tick stop and then lower your stop two ticks above the swing high. I would not just put a hard 10 tick stop because what's going to happen is if you get into this bar with slippage, it's going to retrace hit your 10 ticks and then go in the direction that you want to go in the first place. So what I wouldn't want to do on stop placement is always put it two ticks above the swing high after entry. Two ticks above the swing high. That's all markets. I don't care. If you get if you time it right, sometimes the stops are small. Eight, nine, 10, 11 ticks, right? But on average, you're going to be between nine and 13 ticks on a trade, okay, on any given market as far as crude oil and gold goes. Um, you know, S&P will be lower, obviously. But the bottom line is, is we want to keep our stops two ticks above the swing high or swing low. Okay? That is the key. But that's your entry technique. Keep your stops two ticks above the swing high. On the first push, look to buy or sell. I mean, look to uh, uh, scale contracts and then let the runner run to the next set of what's called symmetry dots over here. Okay? Now, that is in trend. So trend, very simple. I have only two setups. Very easy to see. I have a retracement trade, and I have a momentum trade. So the momentum trades are here. When my Fibonacci arrows come up over here on the far right, I use this far right Fibonacci chart only for momentum trades. I use this chart right next to me for retracement trade, retracement trades. <clears throat> so the retracement trades tell me. When an opposite color candle comes in, it tells me what? It tells me when to pop in on a retracement. It gives me a high probability to pop in on a retracement. The best trades will be when you look to the chart next to it when it closes close opposite color candle if you are closing below symmetry. Low symmetry, low symmetry, low symmetry. See how it closed above symmetry? We closed above symmetry here, but we are catching the wrongly positioned traders, but it's in a little bit stronger position right now. So it tells us in a little bit stronger position, can you still take the trade? If you take a trade like this, because it just closed below right here, if you take a trade like this, there's your entry bar, your stop loss at two ticks above the swing high. If you take an entry like this, if it closes below, right, which it did entry, and we get a close right back above it, you know she's going the opposite direction. I would take a small loss because symmetry has been broke above. If not, hold the trade short. Did we have a huge sell imbalance? Negative 364. That's a pretty decent sell imbalance, right? So you can use this for small stops also, this MA. Right? You see how it's still going down below it? But if you get short and then it closes right back above the whole body candle, take a six tick loss for God's sakes. Because the good trades will do what? Will stay below. Will stay below in the first three, four, or five bars. Right? So you don't want to close right back above it. And that'll help you out. But look at your order imbalance too. But that's a great way to get in these trades. Close partial candle, two ticks above the swing high. So that's how we trade trends. So trend, and Gerald will shut this off in a second. Uh, let me show you how to trade uh, range. This is how you trade trend. There's only two setups. And this is, you can go back 
30, 40, 40 years in the market, these two setups repeat themselves over and over and over and over and over again. What I've done is I made it simple. I made it into two trades. I made it into a retracement trade where you're an opposite color candle comes in against a trend filter, then you look for a retracement. If that opposite color candle comes in a retracement trade, I'm going to do one, I'm going to do, do a little bit better on timing it. I'm going to see where the sim dots are. If I'm below my sim dots or I come within a couple ticks of it, I know to take a pull in down here on the trend filter. Let's say the market's just too weak like we had these two momentum trades today and the market's too weak. It says, hey, I'm not going to close an offset color candle with your trend filter. There's, I'm not going to close an offset color candle on your trend filter. So I need to take a what? I need to take a momentum trade then. So our retracement trades are one, two, three, four for four. It's working on five for five right now as we speak. It got pulled in. It's four for four this morning so far on our retracement trades. My momentum trades are two for two. But momentum trades are different. Is retracement trades are an opposite color candle comes in that catches the counter trend traders. We love counter trend traders. Thank you. If you see a counter trend trader, shake his hand, him or her, say thank you. Thank you for trying to guess where the market's going to go. We're smarter than that. We're more educated than that. We know counter trend traders are wrong. So when an opposite color candle comes in, we're looking for that retracement. I want to time it with my sim dots over here. I come within a couple ticks, and then I'm going to pull myself in with market delta right here. These were all pull ins right there this morning. And they all worked out. And your stop is two ticks above the swing high. Every single win. So you know the exact time when the counter trend traders come in. A. B, you know the exact area with the sim dots on a retracement trade. C, you know the exact, exact to the exact bar when to pull a trigger. And you know the exact place where to place a stop. Two ticks above the swing high. Now I'm one, two, three, four, five for five this morning using this technique. And it's all set up on the trend chart, though. Market delta is the last thing you look at. That was a huge not market delta sell, negative 364 there. Check that out before the pull-in. There you go. All right, so that's how you do it. Now, momentum trades, if it's too weak, that far right chart I use on the Fibonacci arrows only if it's all red. If I'm all red and I'm way away from my small MA, if I come back inch or bar, tick, 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 tick back up, and I touch that small MA, I look for Fib Air over here, like this morning, right here, and fire myself in the trade. This is when I buy and sell these arrows. I buy and sell these arrows right here, trends down, so I'm only taking sells. Look at this. This is our last sell in the trend filter. That touched my small MA, and it was all red. So there's your entry. Where's my stop loss? My stop loss, my entry is at the close of this momentum bar. Close, this arrow will form right at the close of this bar. It's very accurate. Then my stop loss is going to be two ticks above that swing high. Remember, go in at the hard 15 tick stop on crude, and then lower your stop down. On this chart on 3SIM, you'll see your stop sometimes right around 8 to 9, 10 ticks. You'll see a lot of 9 tick stops. We're risking 90 bucks trying to get 40, 400, 600, 700 dollar trade. It happens all the time. All right, so that's how I use this momentum chart over here. I only use it with mo MOMO trades, momentum trades. The chart next to it, I only use on retracement trades, which we had right here. Okay, now, that's for trend. I only have two, two trades, retracement trade and momentum trade. If it's chop, I don't want to trade any arrows. I want to trade market, delt, market profile, sorry. Market profile, which I went over this morning, is you do not want to trade the blue. Replay this video. You'll see how to trade market profile. I want to sell the high by the lookout. Accurate, my market profile is. Sell the high by the low. It's been doing it all morning. Our market profile is very accurate. It's worked for 33 years. And don't trade the middle. Don't trade the blue. See how flat we are in gold right now? But gold, this is a calm before the storm because once we break out of gold, we break out, we're going to look for a break retest and look for that. Look for a big move down. Look at this range. Look how accurate my market profile is in CHOP. Sell the high, buy the low. Sell the high, buy the low. Until what? The first and second test, you're allowed to do it. Then you look for a breakout retest. And that's what we'll look for in gold. We'll look for a major break here this morning. Once we get a break, breakout, then you're going to look for a continuation. The breakout will look like this like it did on crude.
We'll get away. Right there, you'll break, you'll break out. So this is what I look for in gold this morning. We'll break out. We'll rotate back down to HV or LVA, and we should explode. If it's on the downside, it'll look opposite. It'll break down. It'll rotate back up. Look how accurate it is, and we should rotate down to the downside. So that's what you do in chop markets. You sell the high by the low until what? Until we break out, and you get right back on trend again. Okay? So crude, we got Fed minutes coming out at what? We're not really trending hard down. We're back inside of H we're back inside of HVA again, LVA again. So right, back inside LVA again. So shorts, they're just hitting one target, target one. They're debating a lot of singles today. So now, if I want to if I want to weaken on crude again, I got to get back outside of LVA or HVA, which should happen with the minutes coming up. 